This is in the novice division. We're scheduled for three two-minute rounds. These are super heavyweights. That's anything over 201 pounds. Obviously, they both came in at 202 pounds. <laughs> Introducing, in the red corner, boxing for the Phoenix Boys Center, please welcome Sione Tava. <laughs> and in the blue corner, boxing for the Central Boxing Club, Alfred Quintana. Your third man in the ring, our chief of officials for USA Boxing here in Arizona, the lovely Mr. Richard Soto. Just a moment to introduce to you 
a young man and trainer in the red corner. He's a former professional boxer. Please say hello to Mr. Tony Fulalangi. In your novice division super heavyweight match, your referee Richard Soto stops the contest. Your winner in the red corner, Sione Tava. That's pretty much wrapping up for us here at ringside. Enjoy the state fair. Please Good drive out on your way home. God bless. Okay, welcome right here to the Change Reality Show. We're at the Arizona Copper Gloves here tonight. We're uh, just ending the fight. Uh, we're right here with former heavyweight uh, fighter Tony, the Tongan Terror Fulani. And uh, Tony, we want to talk to you a little bit tonight. Tell us a little bit about uh, your past here in Arizona and your fights here at the Arizona Copper Gloves. Uh, Mr. Alfin was his manager during his reign here in Arizona. And uh, Tony, welcome back to Arizona and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I started fight here in Arizona uh, 1981 in Copper Gloves, right here, right in this spot right here. And um, I have a few amateurs then I won the original Golden Clubs in Las Vegas. Then I turned professional, and then I become the heavyweight champion of Arizona for, for five years and cruiserweight champion. And then <clears throat> I moved out of uh, USA to Australia, New Zealand, the South Pacific. And I won the heavyweight champion of the South Pacific. Then I turned around and Came back later and uh, fought uh, George Foreman, um, and I lost in second round. So I tend to become a coach, and I have many, many boxers around four to four, four hundred boys, and this is one of it. And hopefully, this guy will listen to me, and uh, we go all the way. All right, Tony, and we know that you're training now. You uh, took somebody to the Olympics a few years ago, and you've been training ever since uh, you had a back injury and you couldn't box anymore. Um, you know, and we're welcome, uh, we're happy to welcome uh, your new boxer into the scene and, and uh, let him introduce himself and tell us a little bit about you. Oh, my name is uh, Sione Tava, uh, California native from Los Angeles. Just a uh, Basically, lucky to meet this guy. So uh, our goal is to make it to the top, take it fight by fight. Uh, not pretty much any more with anything else to say, but that's it. Train hard and continue working hard with this old man, and hopefully together we can accomplish some. That's right, and you know, he came all the way from Sunnyvale to fight in his first amateur fight tonight, and uh, he's leaving with a victory, so we're, you know, glad that you could come and, and glad that you were able to win this, uh, this uh, fight tonight. Um, Tony, do you have any last words? And uh, give us your little saying about boxing comes from the heart, like you always do. Well, uh, happy to be back in Arizona. The reason I bring my, my, my heavyweights it's remind me those days that um, when I came down, I missed a lot of faces here. They they gone, so uh, it's be glad to be here and back in Arizona. It's a good memory. Tell us a little bit, uh, Tony, about um, your relationship with uh, my uncle, Mr. Alfin. Well, Alfin is a very honest man, hardworking. He trained me um, like five years. And he really believed in me, but things didn't go our ways. So I, 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 I wear his shoes as a coach, and I hopefully to be better. 
All right. And, you know, a lot of the best coaches uh, came from the boxing world. That's what they did, and that's what they know best. So we're really happy to have uh, some great coaches out here. We look forward to uh, seeing a lot more of Tony and, and his young men. We know that he is also trying to prepare some uh, young men to go to the Olympics. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, what your goal is with that? Well, I, w I, w I wanted to see uh, Tava. Uh, this is his name. is Tava. And um the tongue and assassin. Yeah, tell him, tell the people. Son Tava the tongue and assassin. We want we want to see Tava have uh, get get more experience and more skills and uh, more training and uh, hoping to see him in um a couple of years from now and professional. All right, you're hearing that right here from the Tongue and Terror and the Tongue and Assassin. You can't go wrong with that team. <laughs> Any last words or any shout outs? We will be back. All right. Family. Tava? Family and everybody, friends, thank you for your support. Thank you guys for coming to the show. Good luck with your career. Give me a hoe if you got your funky bus fare. Hey!